All right, if you are looking to laugh this Father's Day, a trip to the DC Improv might be the destination mm -hmm. for you this Sunday. Our next guest is going to be there because he's headlining the show. So you can check out Virginia native and comedian Jamel Johnson, who's also here on our Great Day Couch. You're everywhere, Jamel. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Thanks for being home. here. How y'all doing, man? Yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah. My parents live in Woodbridge now. I left last night to be here on time. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good. It was left, that long of a yeah, drive. Yeah, left at 11.59 p.m. What's Maybe. worse, DMV traffic or L.A. traffic? Same, it's a tie. You really? Think so? It's 100 percent a draw. We're just more aggressive <laughs> here, right? Like That's LA true. is more laid back. Once you get into Maryland, it's like Gran Turismo. You just gotta make get in where you can. <laughs> and LA is just, LA. They don't let you merge. Oh. Know? That's like a game for them. They <laughs> see you trying to merge, and like, oh, I can, I'm not gonna yeah. let them do that. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do you miss the DMV? Where are you going while you're here for the weekend? Other Where than to I your going? parents' house. Okay, I'm going to uh, get a haircut from my guy, Connell. Shout out, Connell. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see him. I'm going to uh, Po' Boy Gyms. I'm going to oh. five different Wawa's. <laughs> I have like a Wawa tour lined up. Uh, I'm going to see my boy Rico. What's up, Rico? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, going to the show, Improv, yeah. this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday. Yeah, you're co-headlining. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what can we expect from your show? Uh, a lot of fun and excitement for most to the family i'm not gonna lie to you it's definitely like a pg-13 r vibes oh okay but okay. we are gonna we're gonna have a good time it's gonna be nice uh my friend david bory uh -huh. is the mm -hmm. other headliner uh the voice of comedy central you've probably heard him say paramount plus <laughs> in your probably. subconscious yeah, yeah. Okay. that yeah. type of that, yeah. yeah okay Oh, that's right. Yeah, and it's going to so be good. So should you bring your dad out for this? Definitely or bring your dad. will your dad, dad be there? Bring, my dad will be there. Bring okay. your dad. All dads are welcome. Dads, uh, well, y'all still have to pay full price, but you are welcome, and it will be fun. <laughs> and uh, don't act like your kids made plans already. <laughs> don't tell me your dad's paying, too. Nah, my dad's Okay, okay. I mean, I asked him, too, and he said no. <laughs> but, you, yeah. Paying is optional if you are a father. Okay. Okay. I want to say we've got some topics to talk with you about, yeah. but you, you are a big fra fan of one of our former colleagues, Andrea Rome. Dude, mm. I love Andrea. We Andrea love Rome. Andrea, so too. Funny. Andrea, if you're watching, big ups to you. Big love. Thank you, you for You watched her growing up? Is yeah. that how? Okay, okay. Every morning I'm watching Andrea. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. She's so awesome. Yeah. Are you you want to talk some DMV sports? Because yeah. I know we, yeah. you're a big sports fan. Right, yeah. big sports fan. All right, well, we're yeah. going to get started with this one here. A tradition that dates back to 1909 continued last night right here in D.C., the annual congressional baseball game at Nationals Park. The game features members of Congress, and, of course, it's Democrats versus Republicans. Well, this year, the Republicans came to play. They beat the Democrats 16-6. to The game did raise thousands of dollars for organizations like the Washington Literacy Center and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Washington. Do you even pay attention to this? I mean, look, I've seen a couple tweets about it. Does that mean yeah. they get home field advantage <laughs> just in Congress? Yeah, I guess. it gives, so. gives them that one well, extra vote that they need. They get the one, yeah, the, the I mean, one extra vote they need. They get an yeah. extra, extra home field advantage. It's nice yeah. to see at least some, you know, bipartisanship going true. on for in the time being. Nice, fun, competitive. But it's yeah. like it's good to see our representatives moving around. I don't like when they <laughs> in suits. I think they should have to work in baseball jerseys. And, yeah, yeah. That'd be so much calmer there. Right. All right, the Washington Nationals. Mm, they're not so mm. not so hot right now. They lost to the Houston Astros last night, but that's. It's how they lost that has manager J.B. Martinez all fired up. The Astros won in the bottom of the ninth on a throwing error when the batter was ruled to not leave the base path. Oh, oh. During game Ouch. six of the 2019 World Series, Trey Turner was called out on a very similar play, leaving Davey uh, Martinez very frustrated both times. Last night he said, quote, they need to fix the rule. It's like been five years since, right? No, 2019, four years? Four years. Since that happened? Yeah. Why wow. are we still letting the Astros play baseball? <laughs> mm. That make them play t-ball or They're something. They're proven man. cheaters at this point, right? Yeah, just make them play t-ball, do professional t-ball, pickleball. They just, they should not be a baseball team anymore. It's just too many questionable calls, man, for me. Yeah. Also, well, go O's while I'm at it. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Your O's are oh. having a heck of Come a on. season. We're in second place. In I know, behind my race. <laughs> wow. Wow. The best year the O's have had in my, not my lifetime, but like, 15 years yeah. and we're still and we still can't beat the race nope and we sure don't. can't and that's fine and we won't and it's fine if we finish Indeed. second it will be it'll be like 12 if you were at any other conference it would you guys would be at first I, but i love oh, it oh that's yeah. rough 
Okay, here, can we, we can ask about Washington Wizards? Uh, yeah, the yeah. team and Bradley Beal have a, quote, mutual understanding to work together to find a trade for Beal if the Wizards elect to reset the team in the near future. That's according to The Athletic. Beal has played his entire 11-year career with Washington, but he signed a five-year, $251 million deal with a full no-trade clause last offseason. That gives him control over his next destination if he would want to leave D.C. Hmm. Mm, I think they should keep Beal. I was so my husband was watching yeah. this last night, and they were saying they've really had bad seasons with him the entire time. It's not the entire time when it was just him. Once they mm. split up him and John Wall, that's when things went south. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. The past that. three years is, and we were asking him to do too much. He's not a point guard. He scores. Mm. Whenever he, you, you can't ask Bradley Beal to split a double team, it's going to go <laughs> sideways. Uh. Just give him the ball, let him score it. If we can put him in a position where all he has to do is shoot the ball, keep him. Yeah. If not, okay. please, I, I wish you the best, my boy. If you're watching, enjoy Miami. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, God. It's a great town. They oh got gosh. crabs down there, too, out here. You can get some crabs, <laughs> brother. It's, it's good. It's uh, good. At least out of all the teams, you got your O's to root for. That's oh, true. The and the Sticks. Hey, come on, man. The Mystics uh, And the Mystics. Yeah. Yes, the ladies. Come on. Mystics. I love how you're supporting you them. You can That's hear amazing. more from Javel at the DC Improv. It'll be this Sunday at 7 p.m. I'm sure you have a whole thing on Mystics, right? Yeah, I do. Here. I have 10 minutes on the Mystics. <laughs> okay, Please good. come. All Mystics get in free. Oh, there you go. Fathers and Mystics. All right.